Canada opens new immigration pathways to keep immigrants from leaving Canada, guys. That's the news. Hey, guys, what's up? And welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here, guys. It's insane. I got some really great news for everyone in this video and all the immigration pathways and no opportunities that, well, they are here for us now. Guys, there's lots of bad things that have happened in the last year due to pandemic and it affected a lot of foreign nationals. And I'm talking foreign nationals, I'm talking about immigrants because anyone who is coming to Canada, who is coming here to study or work, lots of people are planning to eventually stay here. They're not coming here just to, you know, work, make money and, and get lost home. They want to stay here. And that's why and even Canada treats them the same way that potentially every person coming to Canada should be eligible, you know, to immigrate. And people lost their jobs because of the pandemic. Lots of people lost their income. Same reason, they lost their hopes. And I'm talking about families that were, well, people wanted to sponsor their relatives to come to Canada. They lost their income and you have to show a minimum income for the sponsorship. And now they don't, they're not eligible to bring people anymore for that matter. I'm talking about international workers who came here to work and they lost their jobs, they lost their income, they started losing their savings and they start walking back home. Whether, whether they should leave Canada and go back and there might be more opportunities there. And I'm talking about international students who wanted to come here to immigrate to Canada as an international graduates to do their immigration. They couldn't come here because of the travel restrictions. They couldn't come here because the universities were closed and because you have to study online and you have to study, right? The initial program is that you have to study full time in order to get post-graduation work permit. Why would you spend three times more money than Canadians spend for studying here if after graduation you're not even allowed to work? So people started looking at Canada whether they should stay here, whether they should go home and people started leaving. And here's what Canada has done to keep people from leaving Canada, to ask them to stay. First thing is, well, two days ago, 27,000, first time in history, because always it was 5,000 people, like uh, no more than that on one invitation, to more than 27,000 people got invitation to apply for permanent residency. That is a historical moment has never happened before, guys. It shows us that Canada needs people. Well, they have 1.2 million people goal to bring into Canada in the next three years, and 2020 was a disaster. So they invited this many people because Canada needs people. They invited with people with the score up to 75, CRS 75, it's really a low score. I mean, if you have a university degree, by the way, guys, that guy might get a ticket for doing a U-turn like that. I got one like that in Canada. The a Jeep in front of me, it's not legal to do that on a <laughs> controlled intersection in Alberta. <laughs> Back to the topic. Next part, guys, they, they, in the six month, these people are going to be eligible. They're going to get their PR, basically. 80% of those people are going to get their PR and within six month period. That's how much time it takes to process through express entry. And on top of it, after three years, those lots of those people are going to be eligible and they might start getting ready for their citizenship test to get their citizenship and become Canadians who are able to participate in voting and have like all the rights, same as Canadians who were born here. Next part is international students, guys. There is a great news. So if you are stuck here as an international student, you came here for a post-graduation work permit, you study for a year, you got one year of work permit, let's say, you can extend it. If it's about to expire and you're stuck in Canada, first time in history, in Canadian history, you can go and extend your work permit without your employer having to sponsor you. You don't need your employer to do that. You can just go ahead, apply, and extend your work permit on your own if it's about to expire. So Canada is saying that we need more people. And they don't want international students leaving. People lost their jobs, international students right now. You know, they need one year to... If they want to be one of those lucky people who got invited out of 27,000 people a few days ago, 
who are getting their PR, international students should have one year of full-time work experience. For example, they came to Canada, they studied, they didn't get that one year of work experience, and it, you know, their visa is about to expire. So now you can just go ahead and extend it by yourself. That's insane, guys. Never happened before. It's a historical moment. Another part of international student is part is that you know people come here so that they can get their in permanent permanent residency, right? So you need a post-graduation work permit. In order to qualify for that, you need to study full-time. You need to go to classes. Right now, lots of universities lost international students. Canada lost a ton of money that they would otherwise get from the international students. What they have done has never happened before. You can actually study 100% full-time from your home country, not in Canada, in a Canadian university. And with that, you can apply for a postgraduate work permit. Guys, this is insane. You know how much it costs to live in Canada while you're studying? While I was studying here as international students, well, I was spending about 1,000, minimum $1,000 a month for life. So I had to pay rent. 530 something for my bedroom that I had shared with my friends at that time in Scarborough, Ontario. I had to pay for food, TTC bus pass, so that I can get to my college. Food, you know, again, food, clothes, everything you need. It's expensive to live here. Now you can literally stay home at your mother's basement in whichever country you are from, cost free. You know, eating the food that your parents provide you with and you can study in Canada, it saves you a ton of money and upon graduation, you can still apply for a post-graduation work permit. I mean, how awesome is that? And that has never happened in history. And it's another immigration pathway that's going to be cheaper, more affordable. Those people who couldn't afford studying in Canada, now you might be able to afford it doing it like that because it's way cheaper than doing it in Canada. You graduate at home, you come to Canada and you start working. Guys, read more about it on the uh, on the immigration website to, to get all the details, guys, because it's going to be another half an hour video if I go through every immigration pathway in detail. Next part about it is, guys, sponsorship. Okay, so let's say, guys, you are going through a sponsorship program right now, right? So you are wanting to sponsor your parent or grandparent to Canada. You lost your job last year, okay? You are might be still unemployed right now. You lost income, at least part of it. And you know how difficult it is to sponsor somebody to come to Canada? Oh, I guess I made the wrong turn, guys. Now let's go buy Toyota here in a dealership. Okay, so basically, guys, what happened is this you lost your income and now you're not eligible so there is a lottery system you want to bring your relatives to come stay with you in canada guys i was screaming with this video i mean my voice went bad you are not eligible anymore like that you know you are going there you're filling out that lottery system and then you get selected you think you made enough points and then you find out that well you lost your income you might not be eligible anymore for the last three years it takes three years to build your income to sponsor your parents or grandparents to canada you have to file taxes and every year you have to meet a threshold on how much money you're making and if in one year you don't meet it you're not qualified to sponsor your parents to come to Canada. And this year, a lot of, last year and this year, lots of people lost their jobs, lost their incomes. And finally, let's say you got selected. You were trying to sponsor your parents for the past five years. You finally met the criteria and then you lost your job. And well, it's going to take you another three years to qualify now to bring your parents, guys, to Canada. So what they did is they lowered down first time ever they lower down the minimum income cutoff. So you need less money to sponsor more people to come to Canada. Guys, look at it this way. What Canada is doing right now, and I made videos, I said Canada is closed and I complained about it, but in reality, Canada is saying, please stay here. Immigrants, please don't leave Canada. You know, foreign workers, Canadian experience class, you know, you're all waiting there in queue, 
here you go, get a PR, stay in Canada. We still need this 1.2 million people in here because the baby boomers are retiring. We don't have enough taxpayers. Everyone needs government support now. And Canadians, well, they're not making enough children to support the population growth and support all the people that are retiring. And guys, it's crazy what's happening right now. So lots of people, are not going to have enough money for everyone and they need more people in Canada and they're seeing international students who studied here you know if you are not qualified yet to stay here we want you to stay here as an extension apply for extension stay in Canada get more work experience apply for permanent residency get Canadian work experience go through Canadian experience class you know if you're studied in another country you know you're not going to be studying if you cannot stay here they're saying we need your money international students pay us your money after that come here start working immigrate to canada stay here pay taxes we need you because canada started losing people immigrants started leaving potential immigrants because anyone who is on a temporary status as a student or a worker as a potential immigrant and potential asset to Canadian economy and wellness and success of the country. So what Canada is doing, they have opened this bunch of immigration pathways. I mean, those pathways, they always were there, but they were really limited. And they have opened doors and they want you to stay here now. This is crazy, guys. I really wanted to share with you on this news. Guys, give this video a big fat thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to this channel. Check out my family channel, I published a cool video yesterday, you know, with my baby there, and it was actually a fun video to make. Anyways, guys, I'm going to grab myself a cup of coffee here. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.